Recently, I was speaking at an event and someone walked up to me after the event and they said, you know, hey, Jim, what are five questions? Five questions that I could ask myself to get to know myself better, to get to know who I am. What they were really looking for is a deeper answer to who they are. And they meant at a core level. So the question for you is, who are you? And before you answer that, let me share a little thought with you here. Imagine that you went to the ocean and you took out this drop of water. This You took a dropper and you got this little drop of, you know, seawater and you dropped it on your finger. And you looked at that drop of seawater and that seawater said to you, who and what am I? And you had to answer this drop of water. How would you answer that? What you would say, I think, is, well, you're a little bitty drop and you're a part of the ocean. This whole ocean in front of us, this massive, massive ocean, you're one drop of the ocean. So many times when people want to know who they are, they start trying to do it analytically, meaning, oh, let me think through this. Step one, step two, give me an analytical response. Give me an analytical thing to think about. And that's no way to come to know who you are. Because who you are, like this little bitty drop of water, is a reflection of the entire ocean. Albert Einstein's law of the conservation of energy and the law of the conservation of matter. Energy and matter cannot be destroyed. They only change form. You, right now, in your physical body, are both matter and non-matter. You're also an electromagnetic, energetic being. You're entirely bioelectromagnetic, and you're a being. And the question that I would ask you to start helping you find this answer for yourself, who were you before you got here? Think about that. Who was I before I got here? When I say before I got here, I mean the planet Earth. Remember what I just said about Einstein. So you can never be destroyed. Your body can actually leave the planet, but you simply change form. So let's go back to the very beginning. The question is, well, originally somebody wanted to know five questions so they could know more about who they are. But let's go to the drop of water and then let's go to you being on the planet again because energy cannot be destroyed. It only changes form. So with the analogy I gave you of the ocean and you cannot change form, the question is, and you don't need to ask five other questions. The question I'm asking you based upon what I shared is who are you? Many people get their who and their what confused. Many times if you ask someone who they are, they'll tell you what they are. And they'll tell you, well, I am Bob, or I am Susan, or I am Jim, or I am Indian, or Australian, or Mexican, or Chinese, or Russian, or whatever it is. Or I'm gay, or I'm a Christian, or I'm young, or I'm old, or tall, or whatever it is. But that's not who a person is. That's what they are. And what you are on this planet currently is a being having a human experience. Many people say also a spiritual being. I go beyond that. You're not just a spiritual being because even that's dogmatic. You are a cosmic being. And we can even take that back to the very beginning to the question of who and what you are. Who you are is a cosmic being. Anything else, any label is just a human identification. And what I want to share with you is when you start subscribing to that identity, that human identification, you lose the truthfulness of who you are at a higher soulful level. And in that moment, you're giving up all of your power to the lower function of you and the lower part of you. So later today or this evening or tomorrow, whenever, Think about this, the analogy I gave you about the ocean, and you apply that to yourself. Who am I? And who you are is literally like the little drop of salt water. You are a reflection of the universe. And what I want you to think about here, I request you do, 
is what is the power? What is the power of the universe? Do you think the universe worries about bills and the economy and Putin and Biden and Trump and Trudeau and this and that? Think about that because you are a reflection of the universe. And we here living on this planet, the planet, as you've heard me say, is in a very tumultuous place right now. And the planet needs people like me and people like you to bring higher awareness, higher involvement, higher light to the planet so that we can help humanity transform and we can all live in a better place. So the world needs you. So let's stay on this path together. That being said, I will catch you over on another video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.